Hello and welcome. In this episode of the Adaptive Recognition S1 Expert User Series, you will get familiar with the camera menu of the S1 cameras and the image setting process. In order to access the camera menu, enter the data center mode with the username and password provided by your S1 administrator. First of all, if you think the LCD display screen is too dim or too bright, open the Options menu tab by tapping on its icon on the right to adjust the brightness. It is advised to set it dimmer in darker conditions and brighter when using the device in sunlight. This way, the display screen will be clearly visible regardless of the circumstances, and also, the overly bright screen will not dazzle you at night. If you are comfortable with the brightness of the display screen, proceed to the camera menu tab by tapping on its icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. In the camera menu, zoom, focus, brightness, illumination, and other parameters can be set for both sensors, which are essential for getting optimal results during a measurement. When getting ready to start a measurement, it is advised to select the most suitable camera mode first. At night, use night mode and select the infrared illumination level you find adequate. In the daytime or on a highway, you should use day and fast mode. Next, you will need to set the zoom and focus properly for the sensor you are going to use. Both of these can be adjusted on this tab. However, using the set focus submenu is the most precise and convenient. Within the Set Focus submenu, you can enable the license plate recognition function. This will let you see the recognized license plates of the vehicles passing by. This is a tool that helps with estimating the optimal zoom and setting the focus. If the device is able to read the license plates with the actual setting, it will show the results in the rectangle at the top of the screen. You can adjust the zoom on the left and the focus on the right. Use the single arrows for single step or double arrows for multiple step adjustments. Set the zoom so that the vehicles entirely fit in the middle part of the screen. For setting the focus, use autofocus by tapping on autofocus in the camera menu. If you'd like to further adjust it, additional fine tuning tools are available in the set focus submenu such as live view enlargement, trigger signal, and snapshot. If the zoom and the focus are both set correctly, the last parameter you should adjust is the brightness. If you find the image too dark or too bright, you can set it brighter or dimmer in the camera menu tab. Lastly, tap on the save button to finalize your settings. Up until you save another setting, these zoom and focus settings will remain stored in the device. With this, you are done with the image settings of the camera for sensor 1. If the circumstances are suitable for sensor 2, use it for the measurement as it provides nicer images and has increased ANPR range. The sensor that is currently being displayed is indicated in the top right corner of the screen. You can switch to it by tapping on the switch button. Follow the same procedures for setting sensor 2. Please note that the illumination doesn't work with sensor 2. To put it simply, use sensor 1 for the measurements in the dark and in cases where infrared illumination is needed. In other cases, using sensor 2 is recommended. The extreme long-range capturing is something that makes the S1 unique on the market speed measurement from even a kilometer away, and ANPR from up to 250 meters. Thanks for watching. For more videos, check our channel and don't forget to subscribe.